Happy spooky month, flamethrowers. It is me, Flame the Dragon Hog here, and welcome to another installment of Flame's Rates. And today, guys, we got something very, very spooky for you guys. Before I begin, a little word of advice. If you're five or six or under, I suggest you turn off this video now or watch it with an adult because what I'm going to say to you guys is very, very spooky and creepy. Anyway, guys, for today's Flames Rates video, it is about time whew, I rate some of my favorite horror icons. That's right, guys. We are looking at some of my favorite horror icons, otherwise known as the horror icons of different mon of different uh, movies, uh, TV shows, and scary stories. <laughs> you guys are definitely going to love these. Anyway, I have some new faces in here and some familiar faces if you guys actually paid attention to some of my videos. I'm not going to lie, guys. It's definitely going to be creepy. Now, here's how this works, guys. I'm going to be rating these horror icons based off of their roles in their stories. Oh, boy. Now, this is definitely going to be awesome. Because, guys, I'm not going to lie. There are a lot of horror icons out there that just gives people the chills. Whew. Anyway, guys, so without further ado, let's begin, guys. Oh, I almost forgot. The scale goes up to five. It's one to five. Because, guys, let me just tell you, this is definitely going to be some creepy mess. All right. So, guys, if you guys are all ready, like I said, if you guys are younger than this, do not watch this video. But anyway, let's begin. Okay, so the first horror icon we have is Ben Drowned. Okay, so first up we have is Ben Drowned. Well, Ben Drowned's story is definitely insane. It's definitely insane. I mean, the story of Ben Drowned, how he drowned in a lake after, his, after these bullies killed him just for a Majora Mask game of Zelda. I mean... It was definitely nuts, only for him to come back and seek revenge. <laughs> but at least he didn't kill his friend. I'm not going to lie, at least he didn't kill his friend. Well, I don't think he had a reason to kill his friend. Anyway, Ben Drowned is definitely going to get a 5 in my book. He's definitely going to get a 5. Because guys, I'm not going to lie, Ben Drowned is definitely one of the most creepiest or original uh, video game creepypastas out there. Next to Sonic.exe, I guess. Anyway, moving on. All right, next up we have is Squidward Suicide or Suicidal Squidward. See, basically in his story, in his story, the Nickelodeon producers were working on an episode of SpongeBob, but this episode was really weird. It was all about Squidward. It was all about Squidward and each clip showing Squidward more and more uh, disgust or creepy or just flat out scared or pale or something like that. And at the end of each clip, it always shows a dead body. <laughs> some of the producers of the some of the producers were so sick to their stomach that they got sick and threw up. Ugh. But by the end of this, but by the end of the episode, it ended with Squidward pointing a shotgun at himself and blowing his own brains out. Like I get it, his life was just I don't know hell under the sea but jesus he didn't have to kill himself i mean really but anyway um i guess i'll have to rate him a three reason why is because it was a little bit creepy but i just don't understand it i just don't understand it but anyway moving on okay next up we have is the expressionless oh boy the expressionless Okay, so this is a new one for you guys. It's about a nurse who just, it's about a nurse ghost who just doesn't show any expression at all. Like, none whatsoever. Didn't crack a smile, didn't crack a frown, nothing. Until <laughs> she really wanted to get serious, and then she just let out a creepy smile, showing her sharp teeth and killing whoever she can find. <laughs> and then she just goes back to being expressionless. Just pale look on her face. Nothing. Um, if I had to rate her, I guess I would rate her... Um, I guess maybe a five. I mean, that is crazy and creepy. 
talk about the art of surprise. I mean, if you think about it, if you really do think about it, the art of surprise. All right, moving on. Next up we have is Nina the Killer. <laughs> you guys remember Nina the Killer? Jeff, one of Jeff the Killer's many girlfriends. Well, I guess girlfriends, I guess you could say that. I wish these pop-ups would stop. But anyway, uh, anyway, Nina the Killer. I'm not gonna lie, guys. She is so cute. I mean, just taking after Jeff like that. I mean, she's basically Jeff's biggest fan. And um, her story was definitely nuts. I mean, after learning about Jeff the Killer, after the death of her own brother, I mean, it was definitely crazy. So she thought she could easily take on uh, the people that killed her brother as Jeff the Killer. Well, just like Jeff the Killer. So she took a knife, cut, the bo cut both ends of her mouth, cut both ends of her mouth, and use a knife. And I'm not going to lie, guys, she's definitely a female Jeff the Killer, if you ask me. And besides, who knew Jeff the Killer actually had so much riz? I mean, think about it. Who knew who who knew that Jeff the Killer had so much riz? I mean, he already has like three girlfriends. Well, not three, because just so you know, Jenny uh, Smiles does not count as his girlfriend. I guess I don't know. But anyway, Whew, okay. Anyway, moving on. Nina the Killer. Um, I guess I could rate her a f a four. Reason why was because she is sweet, I guess, maybe, but she is still a little bit creepy. She is still a little bit creepy. But anyway, moving on. Okay, next up we have is my best friend, Lifeless Lucy. Oh boy, Lifeless Lucy. Well, we already know her story, guys. We already know her story, so I don't have to explain it to you guys. All you have to know is, is that this is one little girl who did not deserve to die. She really didn't deserve to die. She really didn't. But anyway, she's a little girl who just wanted to be home with her friends for her birthday party. And next thing you know, her greedy butler sold her off to this dude. And the dude ended up killing her. Cutting off her arm. Cut it, hitting her upside the head with an axe. It was just nuts. But luckily, she came back from the dead to take revenge. <laughs> but anyway, um, Lifeless Lucy. I'm definitely going to give her a five. Reason why was because, like I said, she really didn't deserve to die. She really didn't. Anyway, moving on. Okay, next up we have is Laughing Jill. Oh boy, Laughing Jill. The uh, female version of Laughing Jack. Oh boy, guys. I'm not gonna lie, this is definitely insane. But anyway, Laughing Jill, I really do like her a lot. She's so, she was so nice. I mean, before she became Laughing Jill, she was all nice and sweet. She was this little girl's imaginary friend. And then next thing you know, her mom ended up, you know, doing some crazy mess, saying that she's not real and thinking that her daughter was crazy. Thinking that her daughter was crazy. Then next thing you know, Jill came, then next thing you know, Jill, she ended up killing her mom with her own nose, with her nose, and she, and her rainbow colors just faded to black, and that happy clown turned into a crazy killer clown, but I'm not gonna lie, she is still cute though, she's still cute, so if I had to rate her, I think I would definitely rate her a five. I mean, she's very, very, I mean, she was very, very protective of her friend. She was very protective of her friend. Not gonna lie. She was very protective. Oh, boy. But anyway, let's keep on going and see what else we got. Oh, boy. The classic creepypasta himself, Slender Man. Oh, boy. Slender Man. Well, we all know the story about Slender Man. We all know his story. He's a tall, skinny man with a suit pale face and tentacles coming out of his body guys i'm not gonna lie he is definitely a legendary creepypasta and plus not only that guys he's a legendary video game icon i mean think about it and plus not to mention those seven pages oh wait no wait no it wasn't seven pages it was eight pages my bad anyway eight pages that he had to find the in order to stop him it was definitely insane, not gonna lie. And plus, not only that, guys, he is one of the most creepiest and iconic creepypastas out there. 
So let me just tell you, <laughs> he's definitely something, not going to lie. He's definitely something. He is definitely something. Anyway, if I had to rate him, I would definitely rate him a five. Because guys... Would you want to be out in the middle of the night f with this chasing after you? Yeah, I don't think so. Plus, not only that, guys, his movie actually did pretty good. And same thing with his video game. <laughs> well, we all know about his video game. But anyway, let's keep going. Okay, next up we have is the ever so beautiful Nurse Jane. Nurse, I almost said Nurse Jane. <laughs> Nurse Anne. My bad, I'm sorry. Anyway, Nurse Anne. Now, again, just like Lifeless Lucy, this is one character who did not deserve to die. This is one character who did not deserve to die. I mean, come on. I mean, she was just a woman who was blinded by love. I mean, come on. And next thing you know, her crush turned out to be a crazy psychopath who chopped her, who chopped her up and sewed her back together with many different body parts. I mean, all she did was took revenge on what he did to her. I mean, it was actually pretty crazy. It was actually pretty crazy. And plus, if you do think about it, the uh, <laughs> the zombie thing for her is actually working out pretty good. Anyway, um, if I had to rate her, I think I would definitely rate her a, um, I guess a three. Reason why is because she's... Still Lucy on the outs. She is still Lucy on the inside. Oh, wait, I almost said I said Lucy again. She's still Anne on the inside, but on the outside, she's a monster. But however, something tells me this is one creepy. But something tells me this is one creepy pasta who doesn't kill just for fun. She kills just to take revenge. I mean, think about it, guys. I really think about it. Plus, like I said before, Nurse Anne didn't deserve to die. She really didn't deserve to die. Ugh. Anyway, moving swiftly on. Okay, next that we have is another iconic video game creepypasta icon, Sonic.exe. I mean, guys, we all know about Sonic.exe. I mean, he's one of my closest friends. Anyway, um, anyway, we all know about the classic Sonic.exe game where you play as first Tails. Then you play as Knuckles. Then you play as Eggman. Then next thing you know, whoo, dead instantly. And just so you know, guys, um, I don't know if you guys will be seeing Sonic.exe this month. I don't know if you guys will. I mean, he's too busy setting up stuff in his world. Same thing with Amy.exe. To be honest, guys, I don't know what happened to the EXEs. I have lost contact with them ever since I started Planet Sheila. I don't know what happened to them. But anyway, I'm rambling. So, uh, back to Sonic.exe. Well, we all know about him. He's a one creepy version of Sonic next to Dark Sonic, I guess. But anyway, if I had to rate him, I think I would definitely rate him a 5. I mean, hey, I'm a big Sonic fan, but his creepy pasta was definitely nuts. Oh, boy. I just hope his son isn't as creepy. Well, I'm pretty sure his son is also creepy. Uh... For those of you guys who don't know who Sonic.exe's son is, it's obviously Sonic XYZ or whatever his or whatever his uh, name is. It's creepy. But anyway, let's keep on going and see what else we got. Okay, next up we have is Jane the Killer. <laughs> Another one of Jeff the Killer's many girlfriends. And I believe this was actually his first girlfriend. I mean, don't get me wrong, guys. Jane the Killer was definitely one of my favorite creepypastas. You see, she's definitely one of the uh, many admirers of Jeff, <laughs> which was nuts. See, I already told her story before, but I'll be more happy to tell it again. See, she was just a normal, ordinary girl who lived across the, st who lived across the street from this uh, interesting house who lived across the street from this interesting house that had a family and his their son, Jeff. They went to the same school. And then next thing you know, <laughs> one rainy day, Jane, Jane ran into Jeff, who was all beaten up and bloody. And soon they became really close friends. And soon they became more than friends. <laughs> when the night of their prom came around, or the night of their dance, Je J that's when Jane learned something about Jeff. Oh boy, 
that he was definitely something more than what she expected. <laughs> but then one night, but then one night, she found she went down to the kitchen to find her whole family dead. She went to the kitchen to find her whole family dead, only to saw that Jeff did it. And he wasn't the same Jeff. He was Jeff the killer. Oh boy. And let me just tell you, it was not good. See, what happened was was that Jeff wanted Jane to be just like him. So he so he threw bleach on her and woof. Went up in flames. However, she survived. But only ended up in the hospital as an ugly, ugly mess. Only to find a black only to find a box with a mask, a black wig, and a note from Jeff. Oh boy. And now she's taking revenge on Jane. Now she's taking revenge on Jeff for what he did to her. Oh boy. Anyway, uh Jane the Killer? Yeah, I think her story was definitely nuts. But, however, I highly doubt if she does, um, I highly doubt if she does kill, um, for the sake of it, just like Jeff. I mean, I'm pretty sure she probably just took on that persona just to take Jeff the killer down. But anyway, as for Jane, I think I would definitely rate her a 5. Anyway, moving on. Okay, next up we have is Zero. Oh, man. Zero. Okay. Guys, I'm not gonna lie. Zero is definitely one of my fa one another one of my favorite creepypastas. I mean, an imaginary friend. An imaginary friend that takes over the body of her creator. And guys, I'm not gonna lie. Zero was definitely an interesting character. I mean, just think of it. Just really think of it. This little girl created Zero in her head, only to find out that she, that Zero had plans for her. That Zero had plans. That she killed her own. That she killed her own parents because you know, this was definitely nuts. And killed her foster mom. And not only that, killed her best friend. Only to take on, only to take over her body and just go around killing people. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, Zero is definitely insane. Ugh. But anyway, um, if I had to rate Zero, I think I would most definitely rate her a four. Reason why was because, hey, she's scary and all, but hey, not all imaginary friends are creepy and scary like her. But she is still, I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, moving on. Okay, next up we have is Clockwork. Oh, man. Oh, man, guys. You guys are not ready for Clockwork. Okay, well... Oh, by the way, guys, if you guys don't remember, uh, I did have Clockwork on the channel before. And same thing with uh, lots of other creepypasta characters. And guys, I don't know if you guys remember this, but <laughs> Clockwork is actually married to her... Uh, to another creepypasta, Tichi Toby. I'm not gonna lie, guys. <laughs> it was one interesting wedding that I performed. Woo! Hey, if you guys want me to bring them onto the channel, let me know in the comments, because I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys might want me to. But anyway, back to clockwork. I mean, she was just an ordinary girl who was just, you know, I don't know, but she started doing all sorts of crazy things just for people's attention. Just to get people's attention, because it just seemed like people really didn't care about her. But let me just tell you, her parents definitely did care about her when she started cutting the edges of her mouth. And then next thing you know, the nurses, next thing you know, they took her to the hospital. Nurses sewed her mouth back together. And then she went all the way back home just to kill her parents. And she gouged out her eyeball and put in a clock. I put in a little clock, a watch, whatever it is. I don't know. But anyway, I'm not going to lie, guys. It was just too creepy and stuff. Woo! But anyway, uh, Clockwork, I think I would most definitely rate her a 5. By the way, guys, real quick. Have you guys noticed something? What the heck is up with all these horror icons? Like, mainly the creepypastas just cutting the edges of their mouths. I mean, I don't get it. I mean, Jeff the Killer started something, guys. Jeff the Killer started something. 
It was just nuts. Jeff the Killer started something. Anyway, moving on. Okay, next up we have is Cartoon Cat. Well, we all know the story of Cartoon Cat. It's about a cartoonish cat-like monster who lives at an abandoned mall and every so often leaves the mall just to go kill somebody. I mean, it's definitely freaky looking with his long arms, with his long arms, his sharp teeth, and his cartoonish look. I mean, shape-shifting and lots of other stuff. It's just too creepy. And guys, whoo. Let me just tell you, Cartoon Cat is not is a creepy pasta you guys do not want to mess with. Anyway, if I had to rate him, I think I would definitely rate him a five. Straight and straightforward. He's definitely too creepy. Moving on. Alright, next up we have is oh! <laughs> it's this creepy pasta. Well, next up we have is Long Horse. Now, guys, I'm not gonna lie, this is one of the most harmless creepy pastas ever. See, what a long horse is is a skeletal horse with a infinity long neck. With, a, with an infinity long neck. I mean, the only thing that's creepy about him, the only thing that's creepy about him is just the creaking of his neck. I mean, there's nothing really that harmless about him. There really is nothing that harmless about him. I mean, he is really, really harmless. I mean, he just wants, I mean, he just wants love. And plus, not only that, guys, he loves the smell of cinnamon and apples. I mean, there's nothing really bad about this creepypasta. In fact, he's rather quite cute. So, if I had to rate him, I think I would most definitely rate him a 2. Because the reason why is he's not that scary. But he is really creepy when it comes to that creaking neck. <laughs> So, guys, he is really, really nice. So, if you guys ever do run into Long Horse, don't be scared of him. Just go up to him. Pet him. I mean, he loves it. Anyway, moving on. Next up we have is another iconic killer. Another iconic creepypasta, Jeff the Killer. I mean, guys, I already told you the story of Jeff the Killer. I already told you about him. I mean, hello, think about it. <laughs> I mean, I already told you about the Jeff the Killer story. I already told you about him. But anyway... Oh boy, Jeff the Killer. If I had to rate him, I think I would most definitely rate him a 5. He is definitely the one of the most creepiest creepypastas ever. And plus, he's the, and plus, he's legendary. He's the most iconic one. Next to Slenderman, of course. But anyway, moving on. Okay, next up we have is Siren Head. Oh boy, Siren Head. Well, again, another creepypasta. Oh boy. I'm sorry if I'm rushing through these things, guys. It's just getting a little bit too creepy. But anyway, uh, Siren Head. Um, well, he's really, really, uh, interesting. I mean, I mean, the whole skinny monster in the woods that has sirens for a head that can make all sorts of different, uh, sounds and stuff. It's definitely nuts. I mean, don't get me wrong. But anyway, Siren Head, yeah, he is a really, really creepy guy. He's really, really creepy. And plus, he could, he, he literally could be anywhere. He could literally be anywhere. I mean, it's just nuts. I mean, he can make all sorts of different sounds just so he can hide where he is. And to be honest, guys, I don't know where you can find him. But best case scenario, just stay out of the woods when you're at night or in the evening. And be careful when you hear like a, a weird siren noise or a weird thing that just doesn't sound right. Or... If your or if your cameras just start acting up and all staticky because of all that weird noises and stuff, yeah, just stay away from that area. Cause who knows, Siren Head might be out there. But anyway, um, Siren Head, yep, definitely gonna rate him a five, big time, five. All right, moving on. Okay, next up we have is Pennywise from It. Oh boy, Pennywise the dancing clown. Oh boy. Pennywise. Okay, well, anyway, guys, we all saw the movie It. We all saw the movie It and its reboots and all sorts of other stuff. Oh, my God. But anyway, uh, Pennywise is definitely one really, really scary and creepy clown. Plus, not to mention, guys, oh, my God. Plus, not to mention, guys, oh, my God, that You Float 2 scene. That was the most scariest scene that I have ever seen, ever. I mean, plus, not only that, guys, he's just scary in general. 
I really, really don't like Pennywise. I don't. I really don't like him. He's too scary. But anyway, if I had to rate him, I think I would definitely most rate him a 5. I mean, hey, his movies did pretty good enough to make, you know, many, many, many different reboots. But anyway, moving on. Okay, next up we have is Pinhead. Oh boy, Hellraiser Pinhead. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I don't know much about Pinhead. I just seen him and I really don't know much about him. Sorry, guys. But I just picked him because he looked cool. I mean, you guys do have to admit, for these horror icons, you do have to admit their styles are pretty cool. Anyway, uh, if I had to rate him, I think I would most definitely rate him a 1. Reason why is because I don't know. I don't know much about him. Hey, guys, if you guys know about Pinhead, let me know some facts about him in the comments down below. Because, guys, I really don't know much about Pinhead. Please, just let me know. Anyway, moving on. Alright, next that we have is the Demogorgon from Stranger Things. Oh, boy, the Demogorgon. Oh, boy. Well, guys, I'm not gonna lie, the Demogorgon looks like he's one of the most iconic monsters from the Upside Down in Stranger Things. And, guys, <laughs> do you know what's so funny? i never seen not one episode of Stranger Things, yet I know about the Demogorgon, okay? Yet I know about the Demogorgon. <laughs> but anyway, he is really scary looking, not gonna lie. And I'm pretty sure he eats people's faces with that face of his, I guess. I don't know. But anyway, if I had to rate the Demogorgon, I think I would definitely rate him a 5. Because he's just so creepy looking and scary. Ugh. Moving on. All right, next up we have is everybody's favorite demented doll, Chucky. Oh boy, from Child's Play, Chucky. Oh boy, okay, well, guys, I'm not gonna lie. Chucky, he is definitely one of the most iconic horror movie characters. Because think about it, guys. We literally have a toy, because think about it, guys. There's toys of Chucky. There's like many different movies of him. We got Child's Play. We got the Bride of Chucky, we got the Seed of Chucky, and lots of other reboots too. And, not only that, that TV show of Chucky's. That TV show of Chucky's. Because, guys, I'm not going to lie, Chucky, he is definitely one of the most iconic horror movie characters, icons, whatever you want to call it. He's definitely interesting. I actually seen a lot of his movies. I actually seen a lot of them. The only movie I, nev I haven't seen was the Seed of Chucky. I seen clips... But not the whole movie. I've seen clips, but not the whole movie. But anyway, if I had to rate him, I think I would definitely rate him a 5. Because he is really scary looking. Woo! And, if I, and as a bonus, his wife, uh, Tiffany, I think I would definitely rate her a 5 too. Even though she's, you know, not in this list. But anyway, moving on. All right, next up we have is Ghostface from the movie Scream. From Scream. Oh boy, Ghostface. I mean, guys, I'm not gonna lie. Ghostface, he is definitely a really, really scary guy. Um, And guys, here's the problem. I don't know who the heck he is. I don't think anybody knows who he is. I don't think anybody knows who Ghostface's identity is. But anyway, um, if I had to rate Ghostface, I mean... The name says it all. Ghostface? I mean, look at this mess. Ugh. Okay. Anyway, if I had to rate him, I think I would most definitely rate him a four. Reason why was because of that weather thing that he did on the phone. I mean, really? That was the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in a horror movie. I mean, come on. The whole weather thing on the phone that he did. I mean, what the world? Anyway, moving on. He lost some cool points with that mess. But anyway, next up we have is Jigsaw from the movie Saw. Oh boy, Jigsaw. Guys, I'm not gonna lie. Jigsaw was def is definitely a really, really scary looking character. I mean, think about it. His, you want to play a game, thing is just so creepy and iconic. Plus, not to mention, his games are so scary. They're like literal death traps. My god. They're like literal death traps. Oh wait, they are death traps, I guess. I don't know. Ugh. 
But anyway, I really, really don't like it. I really don't like him. But anyway, if I had to rate him, I think I would most definitely rate him a three. Reason why was because um I'm reason why is because his traps they're just too scary. His traps are too scary, but him himself he's not scary himself. The only thing that's scary about him is his voice. That's the only thing that's scary about him. I mean, the whole, you want to play a game thing that he does is definitely creepy. But anyway, moving on. All right, next that we have is Michael Myers from the iconic movie Halloween. Oh, boy. <laughs> Guys, I'm not going to lie. Michael Myers, he definitely had some craziness happening in his in his life. I mean, growing up, I mean, think about it, guys. At six years old, he killed his sister and ended up in a and ended up in a mental hospital where he just sat, where he just sat down, pale face, not saying anything. Ugh. I mean, guys, we all know the story of Michael Myers. We all know it. And what was really and what was really crazy about it was that on every Halloween. Well, on Halloween, he finally escaped that asylum and went after and went after his other sister, Lori. Oh boy! But anyway, the story of Michael Myers is definitely nuts. But I'm not gonna lie, guys. On that on that final movie of Halloween, thank God it was over. Michael Myers was finally gone. Woo! But anyway, who knows? He might be back. But anyway, Michael Myers. Yeah, most definitely going to rate him a five. He's definitely one of the most horror icon, uh, legendary, legendary horror icons. It's just nuts. Anyway, moving on. Okay, next up we have is Leatherface from Texas Chainsaw. Leatherface. Oh boy, Leatherface. Okay, well guys, I'll tell you the truth. I really don't know much about him, but he is really, really creepy looking. And just the fact that he kills... Just to shine, just to chainsaw people's faces off and wear them as his own face, I guess. I think that's his role. I don't know. But anyway, I'm not going to lie. He is really, really creepy looking. And I tried finding a picture of him with his chainsaw, but unfortunately, I can only find him with this. Sorry, guys. Ugh. Anyway, if I had to rate him, I guess I would rate him a five. I mean, like I said, he is a very, very legendary horror icon. Moving on. Yet another horror icon that we all know and love, Jason Voorhees. Oh boy, Jason Voorhees. I mean, guys, we all know the story of Jason Voorhees. We already know about him. A deformed child who drowned, who drowned, and it was all the camp counselor's fault. And then next thing you know, his mother, Mama Voorhees, or Pamela Voorhees, just started killing Everybody who was responsible for her baby's death. I mean, that, guys, if I had to be honest, that definitely, Pamela Voorhees was a very, very good mom for that. I mean, hey, if, guys, think about it. If you were put in, hit, and put in her position, wouldn't you guys do the same thing? Minus the killing. I mean, wouldn't you guys do the same thing? Like, if your child drowned in a lake... Just because she was, just because he was ugly. I mean, wouldn't you want to get back at the people who were supposed to be watching him? Yeah, exactly. I mean, I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys would do that. <sighs> but anyway, unfortunately, Pamela Voorhees met her maker. And then finally, Jason finally rose up from the dead and decided to just go out and go on a killing spree. Just killing anybody who came near. But anyway, if I had to rate him, I would definitely rate him a 5. He is one of the most horror movie icon material. I mean, he's a legend in the making. He's most legend. I mean, come on, guys. Think about it. The many Friday the 13th movies out there. Think about it, guys. Plus, not to mention... Plus, not to mention that classic crossover... That he did. Yeah. the Yeah, the crazy... Yeah, the crazy crossover that he did. I mean, he crossed over with three horror movie icons that we all know and love. He crossed over with Leatherface. 
He crossed over with Freddy Krueger. And, of course, he crossed over with his Uber self, Uber Jason. If you guys don't know, if you guys don't remember Uber Jason, uh, go watch Jason X. Go watch Jason X, okay? Go watch Jason X. But anyway, moving on. And, of course, the, and we're talking about, and, of course, Freddy Krueger himself, the man of nightmares. The guy who haunts everybody's nightmares. Oh, boy. Freddy Krueger is definitely interesting. By the way, guys... By the way, guys, um, if you guys don't remember uh, another video that my roommate DJ did, he played Would You Rather with the uh, Freddy Krueger ripoff Scary Terry. I don't know whatever happened to him. I don't know whatever happened to Scary Terry. I don't know what happened to him. Oh, well. But anyway, Freddy Krueger, yeah, he is definitely a very iconic... I He is definitely a, uh iconic um, man of nightmares. He's a very iconic little man of nightmares. It's just creepy. So if I had to rate him, I would definitely rate him. Oh boy. Most definitely a five. Oh boy. Okay, moving on. All right, next up we have is Predator. Next up we have is Predator from those uh from those um movies. Oh boy. But anyway, yeah, Predator. Well, if I had to rate Predator, he is a very, really scary... He's very, really, really scary. He's really scary, especially when he takes off his mask, as you guys can see here. But, I'm not gonna lie. His his weapons is definitely insane. I mean, Predator's weapons is crazy insane. I mean, guys, don't get me wrong. He Sure, he may be scary looking at all, but I do love his weapons. I do love his weapons. They're awesome. So, if I had to rate him, I think I would most definitely rate him a 4. Reason why is because his we his weapons are scary, but him himself is kind of scary, I guess. Him himself is kind of is is scary. It's because he hardly ever takes off his mask. He takes off his mask when he gets serious. Oh boy. Anyway, and of course, guys, we're down to our last one, and since we got Predator, I mean, Predator can't go without Alien. <laughs> the Xenomorph. Oh boy, from the movie Alien. I mean, guys, this is definitely one of the most creepiest, one of the most scariest monsters you would ever meet. I mean, and plus, not to mention, guys, the Alien movie that's going to be, that that's um, coming out, or I don't know if it is out, it's definitely awesome. But anyway, yeah, I, guys, I'm not going to lie, Alien is definitely one of the most creepiest monsters I've ever seen. I mean, think about it, and there's dozens and dozens and dozens of these guys. There's dozens of these guys. Plus, not only that, guys, just the way that they implant um, babies into you, it's just nuts. It's just nuts. And plus, not to mention the second mouth that they have in their other mouth. It's just nuts and scary. Ugh. And that sharp tail that they have. The long claws. And not to mention their babies. Ugh. Their babies. It's creepy. Their babies. But anyway, the Xenomorph from Alien is most definitely going to be getting a five. Woo! Well, guys, that's it for this video. What did you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Which one of these horror icons would you rate out of one, to, one out of five? And guys, let me know in the comments down below. Which one of these was your favorite horror icon? Because guys, let me just tell you. Woo! Sorry I'm out of breath, guys. But anyway, let me just tell you. One of these horror icons, who knows, might end up visiting you at your doorstep. <laughs> and going trick or treat. I'm kidding. I'm kidding, guys. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please leave a like and comment down below. And let me know in the comments down below, like I said, which one of these horror icons did you like the most? And also, let me know in the comments down below, uh, what are your plans for Halloween? Trick-or-treating? Halloween party? Anything? Just let me know in the comments. Because, guys, I'm really curious. And also, guys, let me know in the comments if you guys have any ideas for me what I can do for Halloween. Because, guys, I'm not going to lie, I'm completely stumped. I'm completely stumped. 
And as you guys saw in my community tab, every so often I'm going to be posting up some spooky questions for you guys because I really want to, because I'm really curious on what you guys think. <laughs> and yes, before you guys ask, yes, they're all horror themed. They're all horror themed because guys, I don't know. Um, I don't know. I'm sorry. I, I'm stuttering right now. I'm, so, I'm just out of breath. But anyway, and if you guys are not already subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. So that way you guys will update whenever I post. Anyway, hopefully you guys are all set and ready for Halloween, even though it's only the beginning of October. Hopefully you guys are all set and ready for it. Because guys, I'm not going to lie, I'm all set and ready for Halloween early already. <laughs> And as you guys know, my girlfriend Star Gleam, she absolutely loves Halloween so much. She loves Halloween so much. I mean, I'm starting to think that's, I mean, it is practically her favorite holiday. And guys, don't tell her this, but I got a special Halloween surprise cooking up for her. But guys, don't tell her, okay? Don't tell her. I'm not going to tell you guys what it is yet. You guys just got to figure it out. But anyway, I'm setting up a special surprise for her. Anyway, this is Flame the Dragonhog signing out for now. Later, flamethrowers.